So I'm going to talk something which is very commonly asked these days and it's getting popular in gynecological practice. That is gynecological endoscopy, which includes laparoscopy and hysteroscopy. Now, what is the role of this laparoscopy and hysteroscopy in infertility? Because infertility is a vast subject in itself. And if you think of several conditions which lead to infertility or may cause infertility, there are many of those conditions which can be successfully treated with laparoscopy and hysteroscopy and the outcomes can be excellent. In our own practice, I see a lot of patients who are referred with conditions which uh, give dramatic results in achieving pregnancy after having a surgery done for that particular condition. Now to start with, I'll just summarize these conditions and just mention one or two lines about each condition. One of them, the most commonly uh, uh, seen condition is PCO. Most women know this as polycystic ovarian disease. Whenever a woman has PCO, it is not necessary that everyone who has PCO will have infertility. There will be some women who successfully conceive without any help, without any treatment. But those who need treatment, they have a particular medical management for that. Medicines are tried first to help achieve pregnancy. If that does not happen, then as second line, for treatment of infertility in PCO women, in women who have polycystic ovaries, laparoscopy is what we offer. In laparoscopic surgery, we use some electric current to drill the ovarian tissues. The bubbles which are there in the ovary are burnt with electrical energy and that successfully helps women to ovulate and release eggs every cycle for the subsequent months. And the advantage of doing this laparoscopic surgery is in PCO women is that it gives you an opportunity to find out if there's anything else which also may be responsible for uh, causing infertility and those conditions are not seen on scan or even on MRI. What I'm trying to say is conditions such as pelvic adhesions for example meaning tummy inside the pelvis. If there are adhesions, if the tissues are stuck together, they are not seen on any ultrasound scan necessarily. In which case laparoscopy can identify that and we can deal with them at the same time thus increasing the success of the surgery and helping in achieving pregnancy. Likewise, in the same sitting, we do hysteroscopy also, which forms a part of diagnostic workup of any infertile uh, couple. In hysteroscopy, we put a telescope inside the cavity of the womb of the uterus of the woman and we have a look inside and see whether there is anything which we think may be contributing towards infertility. And if it is there, almost always we can treat it in the same sitting, thus helping the woman achieve pregnancy. The second most common condition which we see is called uh, endometriosis in which these again there are very subtle lesions which are not always seen on ultrasound scan or MRI imaging and those are almost always picked up on uh, laparoscopy. These small lesions, very mild disease can also cause infertility and if we deal with them uh, laparoscopically then uh, success of uh, uh, laparoscopic surgery in achieving pregnancy is significantly high and the results can be seen as soon as a couple of months up to one year also. So endometriosis is something which I would suggest laparoscopy has a significant role in um, helping the couple achieve pregnancy. Then the third more common uh, condition is uh, a fibroid uterus wherein there are small tumors it can be small or it can be even large fibroids which we have seen causing infertility and they also cause various other symptoms but uh, that we can talk at a later time. As far as infertility is concerned, even small fibroids, 3-4 cm fibroids also can cause infertility and there is no medicine which will treat it and help achieve pregnancy. A laparoscopic surgery, uh, we remove the fibroids, if they are very small fibroids, we do the surgery and the woman can go home the same day itself. But most of the times they may have to stay in overnight in the hospital for observation and they go home the next day within 24 hours of surgery. And again the results of a fibroid removal surgery by laparoscopy can be dramatic and it has helped many many women, almost 70-80% of women achieve pregnancy within a year of having laparoscopic surgery for removal of fibroids. Removal of fibroids not only helps in infertility but also elevates other symptoms which the woman may be having because of the presence of those tumors on the uterus. Then uh, there are conditions such as ovarian cysts which can also cause which means tumors in the ovary, enlargement of the ovary which can cause infertility and laparoscopically we can deal with them also and those conditions also can be contributing towards infertility and thus dealing with them can help achieve pregnancy. Similarly, hysteroscopy wherein we insert a camera inside the uterine cavity which is in the womb 
to identify they may be small polyps small tumors which can range from a small grape size to a, something like a lemon size or a melon size big 3 4 cm fibroids also can be seen in the uterus they can even be bigger than that which can cause infertility and we can remove them by hysteroscopic route without having any cuts on the abdomen on the tummy and likewise there are we seeing many women having septate uterus meaning a septum in the uterus but these women actually tend to have more miscarriages abortions repeatedly they don't necessarily cause infertility but even if someone gets pregnant if it happens repeatedly that someone is miscarrying is aborting then removing the septum hysteroscopically can help them achieve pregnancy likewise there can be adenomyomas which are again another variety of tumor in the uterine cavity which can give severe bleeding problem severe pain in the woman apart from infertility and that also we can remove by uh, an arthroscopic route so overall if you look at it i mean this is not end of the conditions which endoscopy can treat with in women with infertility there are several other conditions also one of the again another common condition is tubal block so every woman has two tubes and if the tubes are blocked then pregnancy doesn't happen and by a very simple technique we can open those tubes and the success are almost as high as 80 to 90 percent women get pregnant after removing tubal block it of course depends upon other other uh, associated positive factors as well but the success of this gynecological endoscopy in treating infertility women is very high so overall one concern which everyone has is are there any side effects of doing these surgeries point is like we talk about medicines there is no medicine which is free of side effects but that does not mean that side effects always happen likewise in in laparoscopic surgery or hysteroscopic surgery also there is a potential for complications to happen but that does not mean complications actually happen so 99.99% we don't have any complications with laparoscopic surgeries for the surgeries which i mentioned and the advantage which it offers to most women is that they are up and about very quickly most women as i said go home within 24 hours after having surgery they need the less need for painkillers because the pain is very less bleeding is very less and the recovery is very fast most women may actually resume work within a few days after surgery so overall and most important is also cosmetically it is very acceptable because it just gives you 5 to 10 mm of uh, incision that's keyhole surgeries that's a very small scar which is not even seen in many women so it offers a lot of benefits lots of advantages in terms of the acceptability in terms of recovery as well as the outcome of the surgery in achieving pregnancy so if you have any further questions or anything which you want to discuss this further you can always check with your doctor about these procedures and the conditions that you may have and get a realistic picture about what is likely to be expected after the surgery as far as infertility outcome is concerned and getting pregnancy is concerned